If you're looking at getting a Capto unit, the purpose of this video is to just to give you a brief overview, um, a basic overview of the data that Capto is capturing. So this will be the main screen that you would see on Capto. It gives you uh, two different ways that you can view this. So I'm gonna go through each tile, starting from top left and obviously finishing bottom right. So let's click on face angle. When I click on that, what we're getting is a graph and a lot of the tiles show this style of graph. And I'm just getting a graph that is showing me the face angle throughout the whole stroke. So above the white line, the face is opening. Here's the end of the backstroke. Downstroke to impact, here is impact. And then here is the face angle post impact. So I'm getting the face angle relative to its start position throughout the whole stroke. The next one, I'm getting shaft angle. This is from the front on view. The shaft goes back, obviously, we would know this as kind of forward shaft lean. So the, the shaft lean is further forward than it would be at the start. This is the end of the backstroke. It's going back to close to where it started. And then we're adding loft post impact. So again, we've got shaft angle throughout the whole stroke. The next one, we've got lie angle. Again, this is throughout the whole stroke. Ideally, especially on a short putt, we would keep the putter at the same lie angle, but you can see there's been a slight change in the lie angle here to the end of the backstroke, close to where it started at impact, but not quite back to where it started. And then angles is just a graph showing all three of these together. Next up, we've got track. You might know this as path. This is showing me both the path and the track of the putter, two different things. I won't go into too much detail on that, but path is a 2D projection of the sweet spot from above and then track is the 2D projection at shaft angle, uh, how the shaft is traveling within the stroke. And we can add or remove those elements as we wish. And on each of these tiles, where we've got kind of a picture of the stroke, we can play the stroke at any desired speed. So just to show you a different kind of stroke, me messing around on Capto, We've got arc, maybe better known as angle of attack. Again, throughout the whole entire stroke, we've got a picture of the, of the putter from a 2D perspective from front on. We've got the putter going back. We've got the low point of the putter here, the putter rising to impact and rising post impact. And again, I can play that at any speed. There's a few options here of different things that I can add to this element. And then I can click here to show the stroke in multiple different views. So again, I've got a view that we would traditionally know as the, the path from behind. And then again, if I go back to that, I've got the option to, to view the stroke from any of those angles. We've got the face to path relationship. So ideally we'd see this tile being reasonably consistent, but this is just me messing around on Capto and it's showing me the relationship of the face to the path throughout the whole entire stroke. We've got 3D motions. Again, I won't go into too much detail on this, but we've got the sweet spot plane, which is an interpolation of all the points of the sweet spot in the downstroke. And we've got the putt plane, which is the rotational plane of the putter through impact. We've got the yellow plane, which is the shaft plane, and that's the shaft angle through impact also. And the nicest thing on here is we can view the stroke at almost any angle that we desire. We can click at the top, or we can simply drag the screen and view the stroke from any angle that we desire. We've got predicted launch data, both direction and height, based upon the input details that we put for the putter. We've got energy loss or gain. This is difference between perhaps the face angle and the path causing side spin, shaft angle and the angle of attack causing overspin or backspin. And we've got uh, strike location, perhaps losing energy through a heel or a toe strike. 
Sweet spot rotation, we've got the speed of the sweet spots rotation throughout the whole stroke. We've got the speed of the shaft rotation and the lie rotation. Three different planes of rotation throughout the whole stroke and it's the speed of these that are shown throughout the whole stroke here. We also can see some deflection in the putter through a miss strike here, 8.2% energy loss through a toe strike and we can see the deflection at impact. Putter rail, this is any additional movements within the putter in three different directions, the three different planes relative to the so-called perfect stroke. Okay, so if you're looking to achieve a putting stroke that has geometric congruence, uh, you can see the comparison to the golfer stroke to that perfect stroke here. Handling is any sudden changes in the rotational speed of the putter. So how smoothly is the golfer applying their acceleration to the putter. Trembling is exactly that, any sudden translations of the putter. So it's basically any quivering or shakiness within the golfer and we can identify where that's happening within the stroke. We've got acceleration. So this is a acceleration that the golfer is applying to the putter in the target direction. We can add or remove the contribution of gravity here. We can also click on speed and see the speed of the putter throughout the entire stroke. And lastly, we've got tempo. So this is the time of the stroke, the time of the backstroke and the time of the downstroke to impact. It's not measuring post impact, just the backstroke time and the downstroke time. And the theoretical ideal here would see a tempo ratio of two to one backstroke versus downstroke. So I hope that's given you a little bit of a better idea of the data that Capto is collecting. As I'm sure you can see in this very brief overview, the data captured by Capto is pretty much unparalleled. If you would like any further information, do not hesitate to get in contact with me um, and I hope to hear from you soon.